deduction, induction, and abduction, the holy trinity of logical inference. Deduction moves from the general to the specific and is the most well-known, induction goes from the specific to the general and is the most frequently used, and then there's abduction, which is the most creative but also the riskiest. Imagine three people debating the shape of the earth. One insists it's flat, another says it's round, and a third claims that it lies inside a simulation in a supercomputer. In this example, the hypothesis that the earth is round is favored due to its alignment with existing evidence. However, ideas such as the one that we are NPCs in someone else's simulation might gain more credibility eventually, provided that it is reasonable. Abductions can be seen as a series of competing hypotheses. Whichever hypothesis is stronger, for whatever reason, wins the abduction. Seeing a wet sidewalk might lead us to hypothesize rain, a leaky hose, or a sprinkler malfunction. While abduction involves a degree of guessing, it's an educated guess based on available information. It's the bridge between data and meaning, connecting the known to the unknown. Also known as inference to the best explanation, abductive reasoning was first formally introduced by philosopher Charles Sanders Peirce in the late 19th century. The concept can be traced back to Aristotle, who discussed a form of it called apagogy in his work Prior Analytics. Aristotle's approach laid the groundwork for later developments in logical reasoning, although it was not explicitly termed abduction at that time. The 20th century saw a resurgence of interest in abductive reasoning, particularly in the context of scientific inquiry and philosophy. In pop culture, Sherlock Holmes used this method of reasoning in the stories of Arthur Conan Doyle, although Holmes refers to it as deductive reasoning, as he was probably high on opiates at the point in time. So when you're stuck with a mystery, think abductively, be creative, be bold, make sure to make use of induction and deduction as well, as that's how you turn confusion into clarity. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.